In this demo of Cloudflare, we're going to dive into common use cases associated with securing hybrid work and how Cloudflare helps organizations modernize security with zero trust principles. The problem currently is under the hood of a company's IT setup, you're likely to see a complex scramble that looks something like this. An architecture with too many point solutions and an inconsistent security posture across local and remote environments. And that holds organizations back from delivering digital experiences that keep them competitive. Cloudflare's SASE platform unifies networking and security solutions into a single control plane, replacing the legacy castle and mode approach with an architecture that provides effective security without making trade-offs with user experience. Cloudflare's ZTNA solution, specifically, secures sensitive resources in a way that helps businesses simplify remote access, improve user experience, and eliminate security concerns that surround typical legacy architectures. And we'll observe this through the lens of a single employee as they go about their daily activities. In this case, Alice, the IT administrator. Here, Alice is trying to access her company's intranet. Her device client in the bottom right corner is currently inactive. And when she tries to sign in, she's denied a login page. And we can see the site indicate that it doesn't detect a secure web gateway. After she turns on her client and refreshes, she's brought to her company's Octa portal and then signs in with two-factor authentication and accesses the corporate intranet. Let's take a look at everything inside Cloudflare that was involved in that transaction. Cloudflare One is served out of our massive edge network, which allows us to deliver connectivity and security features at scale. With every major zero trust function consolidated into our cloud platform, we allow businesses to protect their employees, their brand, and their supply chain. To protect employees, we first start with their identities. We need to know who they are. Cloudflare integrates with your existing enterprise identity providers, as well as popular consumer identity providers to give you full flexibility in controlling who has access to what. Here, you can see a list of all the supported identity providers. If we don't support a specific identity provider you have, we support SAML and OpenID Connect, allowing you to onboard pretty much any modern authentication provider. Once we verify the employee's identity, we need to look at their device they're using to access applications. With our device client, Cloudflare Warp, we can determine what's going on with the device. For example, is it joined to the domain? Does it have disk encryption? What operating system is it running? And here, in the larger list of device posture elements the client looks for, we see that we can also support endpoint clients like Sentinel-1, Tanium, CrowdStrike, and Carbon Black. Outside the context of our device client, Cloudflare Zero Trust also supports API integrations with common security providers. You can see we have CrowdStrike Falcon configured here, and we're pulling the trust assessment scores from employees' devices, which we can then use to determine whether employees can access certain applications. Now that we've confirmed the employee's identity and device posture, we can secure their access to business applications. When you onboard applications to Cloudflare, you'll use our application connector, Cloudflare Tunnel, to proxy traffic from the origin server to our edge, essentially turning Cloudflare into your new corporate network. Let's take a look at application setup, starting with Cloudflare Tunnel. As you can see, I have a number of servers connected via Cloudflare Tunnel, which is based on WireGuard and only requires a lightweight daemon with minimal setup. We support Windows, Mac, Linux, and can deploy Tunnel even as a Docker image. When I select my OS, it generates a pre-baked command that I apply to my origin server that then connects it to my network. Once that's set up, I can associate public host names to each service that I want to proxy, and Cloudflare handles server config and DNS record modifications on its own. In this example, we can see I'm hosting multiple applications on non-standard ports, but when users access these applications over Cloudflare Tunnel, the only traffic visible from the outside will be port 80 and 443. If you don't want to use public host names, you can also proxy private IP addresses over your Cloudflare network. Once your app connector is set up, you can now onboard applications and define secure access to your users. I'm taking a look at the company intranet application, and here we can see the IDPs I configured earlier come into play. Of course, we have employee identities in Okta, but we're also allowing people to authenticate via GitHub and something called one-time pin, where they authenticate with their email address and a short-lived password. Let's take a look at the policy that defines employee access. Here, you can see we've assigned this policy to a group called employees, which we've defined from group names in our corporate Okta. You can also see we've added several requirements, one for Okta and another enforcing the use of Cloudflare Gateway. This means for all users matching this policy, all the traffic from the user has to be on-ramped to Cloudflare's network via their device client or some other means before it'll be permitted through. 
Let's navigate to the Cloudflare App Launcher, which will display a contextual list of all the applications Alice can access. As an administrator, she needs to go to work on a database, so we'll select the Postgres admin interface icon. The policy for this app requires all authenticated sessions come with a purpose justification, which Alice here is filling out before she can get access. In another scenario, Alice the IT admin needs to access one of the backend servers over SSH. Cloudflare Tunnel works with web-based applications, but it also works with non-web applications too. I'm typing in ssh.skyflash.co and Alice is granted access to a browser-based SSH terminal with minimal security overhead for things like key management and without the inconvenience of starting from a command prompt or other terminal. You can also see the performance of our client is just as fast as it would be if you sat locally on the machine. Finally, Alice is going to take a look at a domain controller, which isn't mapped to a host name. Instead, I'm proxying the private IP address over Tunnel and controlling access via Cloudflare. This private IP address has an access policy on top of it as well, allowing me to secure access directly to the resource rather than the subnet it exists on. This aspect of zero trust network access helps me maintain a granular control over my sensitive infrastructure without too much technical overhead. So what we've seen in this demo is how Cloudflare simplifies application onboarding and securing access for any employee type while also using its powerful edge network to make sure there's never any noticeable drop in performance. And if you're interested, Sign up for a free account today.